Hey everybody, Iron Toast here, and let's take a look how to beat Sue Storm on this month's epic quest. Alright, so let's take a look at the epic difficulty of Sue Storm in this month's quest. Um, this is the quick rundown, and I'll give you a few pointers. The first thing is, when she starts out the battle, she's invisible. Best to just wait it out at the beginning. If you try to attack, you will get crushed, and you don't want that. See, so watch, it's the light blue timer here at the beginning. There it is. Now it's gone. Okay, now's your chance. Now you want to focus on that force field. See how it's light blue right now, and it's counting down when I hit her? As I hit her, her force field goes down, and she's not taking much damage in the meantime, by the way. When the force field gets all the way down to zero, she has a chance to go invisible again, or recharge the force field. In this case, here it is, and it's going to go into recharge mode. Of course, I'm going to take a hit here. Uh, while it's in recharge mode there, you want to wail on her as much as you can, because that's when you're going to get some of your damage in. The reason you want to bring somebody that bleeds to this battle is because if she's bleeding when that timer goes out, there's a chance that she doesn't go invisible. When she's invisible, uh, in order to get rid of it, you need to hit her while she's blocking, or just hit her. Um, if you try to just outright hit her, you have a good chance of missing, so I'd try to hit into her block. Um, here it's going to go down again. Uh, if it does go down to zero, try to block right away like that. There we go. Um, uh, this one's probably just about over. Um, the buffet makes it tough. The fact that they put her on a node where she's aggressive when she's invisible makes it tough. Uh, yeah, that just about does it. Alright, so that's uh, a single try to get her down with Domino there. Um, I might show you some other clips here, but basically here's here's the rundown when she's invisible don't attack her number two bring somebody who bleeds so that it makes it less likely that she goes invisible when her shield runs out third thing is when you see that force field watch very carefully because it's blue when it starts and then it's yellow um, it's a good visual indicator when it's getting lower and it's orange when it's really close so when it's really close uh, maybe attack into her blocks because she doesn't take as much damage. Um, try to carefully get that force field down to zero. So that way if she does go invisible, you have a chance to actually try to purposefully hit into a block. Um, or fire off a special three if she does get it to try and break it. So um, that's pretty much the gist of it. It is tricky. You do have to get used to the timing uh, when fighting her. But once you get the hang of it, um, I think you'll do alright. So I hope this helps. Um, share this with the Lara Alliance if you think it's helpful, and subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.